Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my show about great products from small companies. Now today, I'm taking a look at some cool new pre-painted terrain sets from Micro at Studios, um, which are licensed for Infinity. Now these are ready to go, kind of out of the sleeve. They do require some assembly, and I basically built until I ran out of super glue. Um, so I got a couple here that are still flat packed, so you can see how they come when you when they arrive. Um, and I got a whole bunch here that I've peeled and put together, and actually played a game with, and some models uh, from Infinity, of course, just for some scale reference and stuff for you to check out. So let's take a look at. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six different sets here from the new pre-painted Infinity Train from Micro Studios. So here we go. Uh, we've got these different sets. I just kind of laid out the um, packaging labels so you can see what comes with what because I'm going to get confused and mix it up otherwise because I'm an idiot. Um, so the ones I've assembled, I've assembled the District 5 shops in blue. They come in two color variations and you can see here how they come um, packaged. This is the uh, District 5 guardhouse. So it's, it's layered MDF. It is stickered on one side, and that's the lasered side to protect the um, printing on the outside. The other side is bare, so there's some peeling to do with this. As you can see my gluey fingers here. Um, and this is the result. So you've got some nicely painted, or some nicely printed um, terrain. It's all stackable for this one. So you can see here, you could separate them out and have them be individual buildings. Um, or they're actually stackable with each other. So even the large ones are stackable. Uh, printed on ladders and stuff too. And I will say that in Infinity, having ladders, having like access details on pre and train actually just solves a lot of arguments and makes it way easier to, to move around them. So that's a nice little detail. Uh, and they also have movable covers. So you can see the cover itself even like latches on and then allows you to put it either up top if you want and from various different angles. You don't have to always have it in the same place, which is a nice little detail. So these guys can sit, uh, where is it? This one's designed to sit in the middle, like so. Or if you rotate it, uh, and then it can be placed. I think it's actually, sorry, it's always in the middle for this one. Does it go off as well? Yeah, it can go to link two of these together. So you can link two of the bottom floor ones together and make like a middle piece or make like a larger building or even have like an overhang if you want. So you can go like this and have it like overhang slightly, which I thought was kind of neat. And then the rooftop access also allows you to like have some movable cover. Just, I'm just being an idiot now. Uh, <laughs> I'll put it back on the way it was. And then the rooftop cover um, can either go on these ends, whoops, it's upside down, on these ends, and it'll provide contact cover for basically all of the standard size Infinity models. And this little piece is just a nice little ladder, so you can put it against a wall to add like another access to the rooftop, or on top for some like vertical cover on the rooftop. Mirror, just with two like different printed designs on them. Then we've got the objective room, and this is handy because it's got not only large and small gates that open and close, so you can see the large gate, if you want to be the large gate side, it just slides in, and then the small gate slides into that. And it's locked, which I think is a nice little trick, since so it's denied when it's locked. And then when you open it up, it's either totally open, obviously, with green, or the sign turns to open access if it's a small access gate, which I thought was kind of cool. Now, it comes apart for transport, which is handy, and also is compatible wall-wise if you want to break it up and not use it as an objective room, which, I mean, there's only two objective room missions in ITS-12. So this is a nice feature. You can actually just break it up and have it be corner pieces or have it be additional walls or even link it with this next set that I'm going to show you, which is the wall set to make some like groovy kind of like extended wall features. And walls are an underrated terrain feature in Infinity. But having these be compatible oops, with these wall features that also have extra you know, gates and stuff like that. So there's more doorways just means that you can kind of pad out this set and make it even just bigger. like a handy little computer station as well or an antenna and it's used to lock the building together afterwards but the fact that it breaks into corners and doors and walls and stuff just gives it a little bit more use than just being an objective room it can just be another piece of terrain in your collection that allows you to block up line of sight one right here it only comes in blue then we've got these district five newsstands and they have nine different there's nothing repeated you can see they're using licensed art and stuff from aristea um, there's nothing repeated advertising wise which is just a nice little feature, but these are big. Like if that's that's a standard, that's Adel standing next to it. So they'll even block line of sight to a tag. And they also make like nice corner pieces for the edges of the walls. They don't actually link up, but I use them just as kind of like linch points for my wall sections. And they added like a nice big chunky piece of cover next these, to These, and what I did with them is, now they all lock together, but I actually tended to glue one side just to make them a little more versatile. So they, they do that um, hook and latch. Where's my, the side that's open. I glued one side and left the other just to give a little bit more stability. Um, and they'll hook on to all of the objective room walls. Uh, but you have corner pieces and you can link them up just by taking one side off 
to create larger wall sections that are actually pretty stable. And that's a nice feature. And then what I did with these was my additional pieces, because you don't use them afterwards, I just laid them down and made like low walls with them touching. So you get a lot of, you get this, this one wall set gives you like quite a bit of um, like options when it comes to building sort of like additional terrain that butts up against buildings. You can see this, you could have it be off center by linking it up with this one. I'm like a cool kind of snaky wall and then use the additional pillars just lined up against it to make like low obstacles or low walls sort of like spurring off of it. But I built before I ran out of super glue. <laughs> so I played one game with it so far. I haven't used the objective room yet, but I used these last night, um, the walls and the newsstands to add to my existing card terrain for infinity. And they were a nice, just like additional detail. The walls, especially in the newsstands, I felt added a lot to the game just by adding like more line of sight blocking stuff that you had to go around. Uh, and then the other stuff I haven't built yet is the guard tower, but it's basically a double stack of this with an all way of the round uh, like bit of um, cover on the top. And then these containers, which I'm pretty excited about. They're nice and simple, um, but containers are always handy. These ones are in red. You get three in a pack uh, and they're just like standard container style to add to the, this one in particular, if you just have the core train from infinity, like the cardstock train, this one, the walls and the newsstands are going to add a lot of dimensionality to your table and just more big sort of stuff with blocks on a side. Colors. So if you want to get them twice, you want six containers, they're not going to be all be the same, which is kind of handy too. It's also a micro art mat for people who are wondering. Um, and it's one of my favorite mats. It's actually an OG infinity mat. This was from first edition infinity and remains, I would say one of the nicest, it's the only micro art gaming mat I have, but I would say one of the nicest Infinity gaming mats that I think uh, I own. So you got another great product from a small company. Now I'll link all this stuff below so you can check it out on my micro site. And if you know of a great product from a small company you think deserves more attention, you can have them email me at girlmanagergames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets and I'll put it in front of as many people as possible. Big thanks for watching, big thanks for micro art for sending along these samples um, for free for me to check out and uh, feature in the games you'll see coming up in the future. Till next time on Ash, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Desperate Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.